welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 261. Uh, I'm currently pre-recording this, so hello, future me, to future you. Uh, I sometimes do pre-recordings in case I know I'm going to be out of town. And um, let's see, future me right about now is going to be celebrating my daughter, Carrie, uh, celebrating her eighth birthday. So uh, I know she also listens to the podcast, so very happy birthday to my little baby, Carrie. <laughs> I know she listens to the podcast, and if this is your first time hearing this podcast, welcome on board. An eight-year-old can do it, so you can too, so be sure to subscribe wherever it is you're listening to this, whether it's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Twitter even, or Facebook. Uh, Just make sure you're subscribed, and uh, this way you'll get notifications every time a new episode comes out every Wednesday and Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now, a tale of honor. In Pulaski, Virginia, Lewis was born on the 17th of April, 1924. His family moved to Washington, D.C. when he was seven. In addition to attending school, he worked as a bookbinder for a local printer, Ransdell Incorporated. When the attacks on Pearl Harbor happened, Lewis was 17 years old, and the following week, his father signed for his enlistment into the U.S. Marine Corps. He went to recruit training at Paris Island, South Carolina, and was assigned to the 1st Marine Division in North Carolina. Lewis was a corporal when he deployed to the Pacific on the 20th of May, 1942, with the 5th Marines, and he fought in the landings at Guadalcanal and continued to fight there for four months. He then moved towards Melbourne, Australia, before sailing to New Guinea for the landing in Cape Gloucester. The 1st Marine Division then returned to the Solomon Islands for rest and rehabilitation, preparing and participating in the campaign at Peleliu. It was Lewis's actions during the landing at Peleliu that would save the lives of his fellow Marines and earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving with the 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, 1st Marine Division, during action against enemy Japanese forces on Peleliu Island, Pelau Group, September 15, 1944. Valiantly placing himself at the head of his squad, Corporal Bowsel led the charge forward against a hostile pillbox which was covering a vital sector of the beach and, as the first to reach the emplacement, immediately started firing his automatic into the aperture while the remainder of his men closed in on the enemy. Swift to act as a Japanese grenade was hurled into their midst, Corporal Bowsel threw himself on the deadly weapon, taking the full blast of the explosion and sacrificing his own life to save his men. His unwavering loyalty and inspiring courage reflect the highest credit upon Corporal Bowsel and the United States Naval Service. He gallantly gave his life for his country. Lewis was evacuated to a hospital ship but died from his wounds three days later at the age of 20. His mother and father received his Medal of Honor from the Secretary of the Navy on the 11th of June, 1945, making him the only enlisted Marine from Washington, D.C. to receive the medal during World War II. Five months later, the USS Bowsel was christened by Lewis's mother, and it would go on to serve during both the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Lewis Kenneth Bowsel was buried at sea but his name resides on the Manila American Cemetery and memorial on the walls of the missing buried at sea in Manila, Philippines. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Please head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.